okay welcome back guys to ios design in today's video i'm going to be teaching how to fix this um the turn on button not working like if you should look at this now you discover that the power on button is not working and if there is any way you should open the calculator with not with the screwdriver and put in the battery you discover that it's turn on but when you turn it off you discover that you can't use the turn on button so stay tuned to the channel and don't forget to subscribe if this works for you thank you So let's get to work so i'm just going to lose the calculator and maybe change the battery and then see how it goes next so we just opened up the calculator and you can see oh sorry this one just fell out if you press on nothing is showing on the calculator is not on ah. But if you should come and remove the battery and then push it in back, you discover that it is gonna turn on. Look at it right there blinking. So every other key is working except the turn on button in coming. Uh, you push it, pardon me, this thing is blinking. You see, the turn on button is not working, but AC is working. Every other key is working. I can turn it off when I press shift. And go to AC off. It has turned off, but the turn on is not working. And there is, I've tried over the months so far to repair this, and it's not working. I don't know. So far, Casio calculator has been building, or uh, like say they have been developing calculators that the IC circuit spoil fast, like very very fast. And this power on button is something I've been noticing frequently. So that's I decided to make the video. If you should look down here, you will notice something. This is the reset button. I've tried opening here, trying to know the fault, but it just doesn't work. And I've tried looking for videos too on YouTube. It doesn't work. So I want to show you my own method of it. So this is how I do it. If you notice, the calculator is still off, fully off. And then... You notice the reset button i showed you this one uh, so i'm just going to place this here and then try and get a wooden or uh, an iron uh, equipment or a nail something like this and take your laptop um your calculator on up and scratch it here maybe scratch or touch like any of them will work scratch on it and then you see that it is on you can try this out if it's not working for you let me know you see that it's on like it must ever work for you unless your calculator doesn't have a reset button but unless you don't know where the reset button is if i should turn it off again let me show you turn it off it's off and go over there and like scratch it again or touch sorry then you see it again it's on and then i've seen that this is the only method i will use to know or to turn on the calculator yes so after looking at this what i came up with is since i noticed that this is the only place that can turn this on what i came up with is to place this back here and calculate and calculate the exact spot sorry and calculate the exact spot on this calculator that is connected to that hole like i'll place it i'll mark it out look at here when i place it i'll mark it out it should be around in this hole if i should place it accurately i'm going to use a ruler to mark it out it should be around here or if it's not here it should be around here then i'm going to heat up something heat up and like an iron something and then pierce it through here to create a hole here i'm showing you guys because this is the only method i've discovered so far if i should get a better method i'm eventually gonna drop it I'm just gonna pierce and open a hole here. This is somehow stressful to do. Like, not stressful, nothing much. What you have to do, the only place it's stressful is that you have to have a nail or a wooden something to be using to press it every time. So once you open this place, I'm going to do it in this video. Once you open this hole, you cover it and you tight it back. So that when you're done, whenever you want to turn on the calculator, you just put in this thing from the back 
from the back and touch here and then that letter will be on and ready to use so um stay tuned let me do it okay so after using some hot rounded metal um stick i was able to create this hole this perfect hole you can see that i'm going to be placing it here like this let me drop this okay if i should cover this and you can see it it is showing that reset button but not completely clean sure not like completely well but at least i can get access to it but this is okay if i should um look at this now this is off you can see this this is off if the owner should get it now and like take a something and rub through here and then tada you can see that it is on so you can now go on to solve your mass <laughs> you can see everything is working perfectly so this is my own method i don't know you guys should try this and if you don't like this method stay tuned um subscribe to my channel and then if i see any other working chan working method i'm going to be dropping and for now the on button is not still working but your mood every other thing is working except this one like i don't even understand what these people are building but it's well thank you guys for watching my videos bye